With a new beauty boom, over 56 million Americans suffer from some form of hair loss, and approximately 40% of those are women. It's a problem that affects confidence and self-esteem, but now a new treatment may hold promise in helping men and women regrow their own hair. ABC's Mars Cavacampo has the details. Move over, hair club for men. I'm not only the hair club president, but I'm also a client. Now, a promising new hair loss treatment for women and men that may help to regrow and thicken hair without surgery, drugs, or expensive ointments. Just look at these before and afters. Doctors who use it say the secret is something you already have, platelets in your blood. Platelets have growth factors in them, and they're very, very good at getting hair to regrow and getting the hair follicles to thicken. It's called platelet-rich plasma therapy, or PRP, and research is preliminary, but promising. While the procedure is not yet FDA approved, doctors who use it say it's simple. Blood is drawn, the plasma separated in a machine, and platelets from the patient's own blood injected directly into the scalp, saying that they contain growth factors that stimulate the regrowth and thickening of hair follicles. Regina Mittler used PRP for her thinning hair. I've always had fine hair and I've always wanted fuller volume. Signature? She says that just weeks after her first treatment, she noticed a difference, and here she is after five treatments. I feel the hair coming in, I feel the thickness. I love the results. At just 22 years old, Joseph Catanese's hair started thinning. He tried every over-the-counter product available. Over time, it just got worse and worse, and I didn't know what else to do. He's had five procedures now, and he's gained more than just a head of hair. It gave me my confidence back. It helped me to, you know, help, it helped me to want to go out again. I don't have to wear a hat, and it definitely boosted up my confidence. Some studies suggest that while the results look good, they may not be long lasting. Still, the procedure is giving hope to millions with thinning hair. For Good Morning America, Mara Schiavocampo, ABC News, New Jersey. When men lose their hair, they're often described as more manly, virile, even sexy. But when women experience hair loss, oh boy, it's a different story. And that's why solutions are so important. There are a number of options now for slowing the process, including lotions, lasers, even surgery. But the latest comes in the form of stem cell therapy. Local 10 health specialist Christy Kruger shows us how doctors are using these powerful cells to stem hair loss. From this freezer comes a small box with a big promise, getting to the root of hair loss. And it's so upset that I don't like that. But you know, unfortunately, it's something that I have to, to learn how to deal with that. Female pattern hair loss runs in Rosangela Silva's genes. It became progressively worse after the birth of her first child. Uh, we'll do two photos. Um, right straight down the middle, and then I'll tell you which way to look and turn after that, okay? She's come to hair loss specialist Dr. Alan Bauman for a unique treatment, an injection combo of her own platelet-rich plasma mixed with freeze-dried placental stem cells. It's human tissue, it's immunoprivileged tissue, so there's no risk, there's no side effects. After numbing the scalp, the cellular cocktail is injected into the area of thinning. What we're trying to do is modulate or improve the function of the hair follicles that are creating thin, weak, wispy hair due to female hair loss or male hair loss and try to improve their function. The key is to act before the follicles have died. A lot less expensive than a hair transplant and it can work as a stopgap in some areas that may benefit from non-invasive treatment before needing a hair transplant. Typically, patients see noticeable changes in their hair quality within four to eight weeks and may have continued improvement for up to 18 months. Rosangela has high hopes. It's gonna make me happy. That's what I hope, that I feel happy when I look at the meter. The procedure costs $2,500, similar to other non-invasive cosmetic treatments. The process will take you about an hour, and it can be repeated if hair growth and quality begin to somehow drop off. With your health news, I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News. Oh, Christy tells us it's important to note that the treatment will not work in areas where hair follicles have become inactive.